The fancy Alice 66 was released a few months ago and it's quite a nice Alice layout keyboard and today I'm finally building it thanks to DIYKeyCap.com. They sent over this keyboard kit, switches and keycaps for the build and I think you guys will love them so remember to check out DIYKeyCap.com. First taking a look inside the fancy Alice 66 box. You get the acrylic pieces here that will stack together to form the stacked acrylic case. I have the smoky black version here with the transparent bottom and it looks great. But it's kind of a fingerprint magnet to be honest, I can see all my fingerprints and stains on it. Besides that, there's also a pack of screws, standoffs and the poron gaskets here. A custom cut switch pad. A piece of pre-cut poron plate foam. The palm plate which is pretty flexible. And you get the fancy Alice 66 PCB which is a 5 pin hot swap self facing RGB PCB and they use Kel hot swap sockets here. And let me tell you the RGB here is great especially with those bright underglow RGB just look at it. So that's everything in the box, let's build it. Since it's an Alice layout, I'm going to be using 5 2U Durock V2 screw in stabilizers. And I already looped the steps here with some permatex to remove the rattle. Starting off with the PCB, the switch pad sheet goes on top first, then the screw in stabilizers can be placed onto the PCB and screwed in carefully. With all of them in, the pre-cut poron plate form can now go on top and next is the palm plate. It's pretty simple so far just layering everything on top of each other and now it's time for the switches. For this Alice build, I will be using the JWK Epsilon linear switches. They come with a translucent nylon top and bottom housing that really reminds me of the Equals Tangerines. It has a white stem in the middle and it's a 5 pin hot swap switch. It also comes with a pretty interesting 68 gram progressive gold plated long spring which feels quite bouncy and it comes lightly looped from the factory. These switches feel great so far and this is how the build looks like with them in. And with the RGB on, it is slightly tinted orange because of the switches but I don't really mind it, it still looks great to me. With the plate and the PCB almost done, the only thing left is to install the gasket strips on all of the sides of the plate like this and they cover the top and the bottom part. Moving on to the case, it's pretty simple, it's just a stacked acrylic case and this piece right here with the cutouts is where the plate will sit on top. And that just goes on to the case and then now we can put on the plate into the case and the top acrylic now can be placed on top and everything can be screwed in together. The build now is almost done and I just gave it a quick wipe down with a microfiber cloth to remove all of the fingerprints and stains. And after all of that, it's looking pretty clean and shiny. So originally, I was going to be using this keycap set that I customized on their website. I even chose the colors and even printed my logo on it. I think it looks awesome, but it doesn't come with the smaller keycaps needed for the Alice layout. So I'm going to be using them on another keyboard. But here was how I made them. To do it yourself, it's pretty simple and this is how I did mine. On their website, DIYKeycap.com, you get to customize your own keycaps here. For me, I chose the kit with the novelty so I can customize the extra keycaps included. And over here, you can choose if you want to add sub legends, and I added some hiragana sub legends because I wanted it on my keycaps. After that, you get to choose the colorway, and I started off mine with the Aurora Polaris base colors. And as for the custom keycaps I printed, like my logo, I designed them myself in Adobe Illustrator and exported them into a 1 by 1 ratio PNG format picture. And to bring it into the software, you just have to go to the image upload section and press the PNG option here, and then you can just upload and start placing them on the keycaps you want. After placing all of the keycaps that I made myself, this is what it looks like and everything is now done. 
I then clicked on the place your order now button and then I went ahead and check out and it basically just shipped to me after that. So as I said, it's pretty simple so do check them out if you want to customize your own keycaps. But instead for this build, I'll be using this pretty interesting keycap set here that's also sent over by DIY keycap. This is called the Unowned Keycap Set and it's inspired by the Unowned Pokemon. It comes with 143 keys here and there are Dice Up PBT keycaps. There are also KCA Profile keycaps which are like Cherry Profile but they have a more rounded design to them. Honestly, I love the design here and they look quite nice with this colorway. The printing on them feels nice as well and they look pretty sharp and the thickness of the PBT is good in my opinion. With the build done, this is how the fancy LA66 looks and it looks pretty sleek in my opinion with these keycaps. And with the RGB on, it looks even better and look at it, it looks so bright and the underglow here looks great as well. So with that all covered, this is how the keyboard sounds. So that was the fancy Alice 66 and building it was quite simple. It was a great budget Alice keyboard at launch and now it still is. Overall, the whole build turned out nice and it sounds pretty decent too. So if you're interested in checking out anything used in this video, links will be provided below. And again, remember to check out DIYKeycap.com and a huge thanks to them for supporting my channel. So that wraps it up for this build video guys, leave a like on this video if you liked it, dislike this video if you didn't like it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't even more keyboard content very soon. And as always, thanks for watching, goodbye guys.